I didn't mean to freak you all out when I started section five of this book, Visionaries, Rebels and Machines, with the following sentence. This chapter is about the unintended consequences of the work we all do in computing. If, upon reading this chapter, you feel an overwhelming sense of terror, don't worry, that's a sign you're still sane. I didn't mean to freak people out with section five of this book, but I did mean to try to hold myself and all of us who build machines for a living to account. In the beginning of the book, in the introduction, I make it very clear that the first four chapters are historical and they take us all the way from the first light bulb and transistor and how they were combined together to make computing machines. But I say in the introduction that it is the job of journalists to write history's first draft. So section five is my attempt to write history's first draft about what's going on right now, last year, 2025, and what I think is going to happen 2026. Some of it was written, in fact, most of it was written 12 to 18 months ago. It breaks my heart to see some of those predictions have actually come to pass. I take no joy in that whatsoever. So I'm glad people are taking a lot from the book. I really am. I'm sorry about lulling you into a wonderful, historical, funny, uh, irreverent journey, only then to boof, stop people dead in section five. And I say sorry, but I kind of mean sorry, not sorry, because we have to think about this. There is no getting away from the tentacles of computers and artificial intelligence. We're all in this now, and we need to power up uh, about how we speak about it and how we understand it and what it means, not for us, but for our children. That's the most important thing right now.